Join me as we explore five of the best beaches on the Caribbean island of Antigua. Fry's Beach on the west side of Antigua is probably the quintessential Caribbean beach. I mean, look at that water, amazing, crystal clear, blue-green Caribbean water, beautiful soft white sand, nice long beach, very, very nice to swim in. It's just a gorgeous place. At the far end of Fry's Beach is Dennis's Beach Bar. It's a very cool place. It's a beach bar. They have wonderful meals there. They serve lunch, they serve dinner. It's not a cheap place to eat, but it's a very, very yummy place to eat. The food is very good. Dennis is a very well-respected person in Antigua, and it's a pretty cool place. And look at this view. How can you have a bad time eating at a restaurant with a view like this? Before COVID, Dennis would have groups of cruise ship people, large groups, come to the beach beside his restaurant and then feed them lunch. But since COVID, he has so far not been doing that. And so the nice thing is that Fry's Beach in 2021-22 so far has been very quiet. Just down the road from Fry's is Darkwood Beach, another one of my favorite beaches in Antigua. The water is generally very calm and there's some excellent snorkeling here. And the nice thing about the snorkeling is it's very close to shore. You just have to go out a little way to be able to snorkel around the reef. The water's also very lovely, clear, and generally calm. So right here on the end of Darkwood Beach is Carla's place. Carla is a lovely lady and she serves a mean rum punch. And she also has some of the most reasonable lobster prices. If you'd like to have lobster for lunch on the beach, and who wouldn't, on the island. So definitely if you come to Darkwood, come and check out Carla's place, have a rum punch and a lobster. So this is the restaurant on the other end of the beach. To be quite honest, we stay away from this area. It's where the cruise ship people get dropped off. So it's usually quite busy. Because of COVID, it's quite quiet today. But anyway, they do serve drinks. There's bathrooms, changing areas. You can rent an umbrella, a couple of chairs. And as you can see, when there's not a lot of cruise ship people in, it's a pretty mellow place to be. So this is another cool thing about Darkwood Beach. It has this floating kind of activity amusement park thing for kids, which is just so cool. I think the admission is something like 15 EC, and I've seen adults on this too. It's all sorts of fun on the water. As far as I know, this is the only uh, activity like this they have on the whole island. Half Moon Bay is one of the most beautiful beaches, not only in Antigua, but probably in the whole entire world. It's a massive bay shaped like a half a moon, and it's also a protected park. Well, when you first get there, it's quite wavy on one side of the beach. If you walk all the way down to the end of the beach, you get to this area you can see on the screen now, which is very gentle, kind of a lagoon-like setting with beautiful, fine, pink white sand, very peaceful, very tranquil, and a wonderful place to hang out, very safe for swimming and for kids, and there's even fair snorkeling here as well. It's my favorite beach in all of Antigua and has been since I first started coming here, and I'm sure if you look around, you can see why. It's just an incredible place. It is a protected park, however, they are trying to do some development on the other side of the bay, I have my own feelings about that, but this isn't my country. But for now, that development seems to have stalled and it remains a very quiet and tranquil beach. So once you get to the end of that beach, you can actually walk around the corner and you come to this area which is a very cool rocky outcropping. You can walk along the rocks, either on the low level or the high level, and see these incredible waves coming in from the open ocean. 
So it's so cool. That's one of the amazing things about Half Moon Bay is you can experience the tranquility of the end of the beach and then you can walk around the corner and see these incredible crashing waves. It's quite amazing scenery as well. Here we are back up at the parking lot where there's a very cool beach bar. They serve drinks all day, they serve lunch, they serve snacks. It's a very cool place to come. It's a happening place. I don't believe they're open in the evening, so I think they close around 4.30 or 5. And don't forget to feed the stray kitties. Hi, it's trainer Julia and here I am at Deep Bay Beach where there's this really cool fort at the top of this hill and today we're going to climb it. Fort Barrington is located atop Goat Hill at Deep Bay in Antigua. Fort Barrington was one of the first lines of defense for St. John's reporting ship movements to nearby Rat Island via flag and light signals. While it was just a lookout station, being back on the front lines wasn't easy. Fort Barrington likely saw the most action of any fort on the island of Antigua, as it was captured and liberated from the French, going back as far as 1652. The fort as it stands today was built in 1779, and it's a very cool ruin to explore on Antigua. Not only does its position on top of Goat Hill provide a pretty strenuous, although very short and invigorating climb with a couple of very cool rooms to explore on the way up. The view from the top is probably the best view you will get of the island anywhere in Antigua. The ocean stretches for miles in every direction. It's quite amazing. So here we are at the very top of the fort at Deep Bay with a 360 degree view of the beach. There's the lagoon, the Epton Resort over there. And just the most beautiful blue Caribbean ocean. Quite an incredible view. There's not many spots in Antigua where you can get high up and get a view like this. And this is one of those spots. Um, I will say it's a beautiful view from up here. If you're afraid of heights, there's a couple parts you might not like too much. I myself, I'm afraid of heights. Uh, my husband kind of helped me through it, but once you get up to the very top, it's, it's totally fine. Um, it's a bit of a climb, maybe not for people who are really elderly, but it, there's no scrambling or anything. You can pretty much walk the whole way. So yeah, very cool up here. Very cool view. for 50-year-old women everywhere. Here we are, final destination for the rest of the day, Deep Bay Beach. It's a very beautiful beach in, obviously, a very deep bay, which means very few waves, very nice, clean, clear water. Way down on the end there, you can see there's a resort. Otherwise, it's a fairly quiet beach, except for the fact that the uh, sailing people, the Wadadley cats, do stop here frequently during the day. And when it's busy with cruise ship people, it can be quite annoying. In fact, I see one of them on the horizon heading this way. So just to be aware of that, um, it's often not a quiet beach because there can be three cats at a time parked here. The Wadadley cats uh, generally been people off the cruise ship and take them to different beaches to party um, and they tend to use deep bay a lot because it's very easy to anchor but otherwise it is a very beautiful beach. 
So another one of my favorite beaches in the whole wide world. This is Galleon Bay Beach. It's in a very protected bay. A lot of yachts and boats moor here, as you can see, because the water is very calm. It's also an excellent snorkeling area. Some of the best snorkeling and most easily accessible snorkeling on the island. There is a, a resort that is right on the beach. However, I believe it's between owners right now and I don't think that anyone is staying in them. But there are a few accommodations located on this beach, including one resort at the very end. There's the resort at the very end of the beach. Julie Caranchi, chosen out of thousands and thousands of snorkel applicants to be part of Team Snorkel Canada. Team Canada! Yay! I don't know how far we're gonna get today, maybe halfway the, to our goal which is, uh, you know, it's a few kilometers. I, I just don't want to boast and say it's, it's about 100. Another cool thing you can see at Galleon Bay is the Pillars of Hercules, which stand at the end of Charlotte Point, guiding the entrance to Freeman's Bay and English Harbor. They are a natural geological rock formation carved out by wind, rain, and the sea. I hope you enjoyed visiting some of my favorite beaches on the beautiful island of Antigua.